Good morning. How are we today? Are we good? I hope so. All right. So today we're going to do the fern stitch and the fly stitch. They look very similar, but the way you do them are different. So one of them has really um, pointy, pointy points. And the other one kind of has like a soft U. So I'm going to show you how to draw them. Draw them. You can have a bunch of different shapes if you want to. Um, I love the fern and fly stitch. They're so fun to teach together because even though they look the same, someone always has a preference, one or the other. And it's so interesting to see which one people like, if you know what I mean. So they can be thin. like this. They can be a little bit bigger, like this. So there's space in between these, yeah? They're not all smushed together like um, the fly stitch leaves that we did. So these are actually like vines. You could have a skinny top and a fat bottom, way like this okay so there's lots of different ways that you can do these um i'm gonna probably stick to maybe these or make maybe these i probably won't do a big one only because um i don't want to have a big amount of space taken at the end you know i want there to be more fabric around the outside um so i'm going to show you how to do the fern stitch with one and the fly stitch with another and then you can fill them in where you need to. So like I said before, these are things that you can just kind of tuck in, okay? We're also going to be doing um, one more of these kinds of things. So what we can do is we can draw them in now if you want to. So all you need to do for those is draw a stick like this. Yeah, or like this. So if you want to draw all the things in now, then you can. Because I know some people will fill it all up with fly and fern. And then they'll be like, huh, I don't have any space left. <laughs> so I'm going to stick one here. Um, of the fly or fern. And this is where I would say, if you have the space like this, like an, like an odd space, you can make them bigger at the bottom where they come in, in a little bit. Excuse me. I just chugged the rest of my coffee. I probably should not have done that. Um, I make them a bit like thinner and like wafy, you know, at the very end. Okay, and then let's put one at the top over here. I think this pen is about to go. And then I'll put my other flower over there. Okay, let's leave it, let's leave it, let's leave it. But that's the one we're gonna learn on Monday. Okay, so let's try these two first and then we can do more in a minute. So we'll do the fern stitch first. Now the fern stitch, it's just a straight stitch. Yeah, tapered. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Like, like, um, like air, like smaller, you know, how some of them get a bit. I think I need to start like working out in the morning because then I can like get, maybe like get more energy or like get all my words together or something. Okay, so we're going to start up here with the fern stitch. So let's zoom her in. Okay, and I'm going to use all six strands of the dark green color. I haven't used this color yet for this stitch, for this uh, teapot, but it's 218 and it's like a really dark, nice green. Okay, so it's just three straight stitches. One down the middle side side okay 
So a lot of people will start here and do your straight stitch because that's kind of how you do it for each one. Yeah, you start here, come up through the fabric and then down through the fabric and then a line and a line and then up through the fabric, down through the fabric and then a line, a line. But I don't like having the knot all together right there because it always gives me grief. So I always do the first one at the very tip. So we've got one straight stitch. You can do the left and then the right or the right and the left, it doesn't matter. Same hole, down. This is the fern, fern, because it makes little ferns. And then the right, same hole. Okay, and then down to the next one. Same hole. So there it is, your first fern stitch. Yeah. Then left. Then right. And that's it. That's the stitch. It's just the straight stitch three times to make this pattern. Can you do a back stitch all the way down and then add them? Yeah, probably. But this is how you're meant to work it. Anyone else singing Missy Elliott now in their heads? So you can totally see how by just making these here longer, it can alter the look of the stitch. So if you have maybe a short one and then a long one and then a short one and then a long one, you can make a different pattern and yours will have a different look. I did use this color already, didn't I? Right there. Thanks. <laughs> I love these. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to make mine kind of dead end into this flower and then do a knot on the back. Okay, so there's one, it's the fern stitch, fern stitch, straight stitches. Now the next one I'll do is the fly stitch. I'll be singing that all afternoon now. I know. I get songs like that stuck in my head so much. And then how then I just can't, I can't stop. I just keep, keep singing them over and over and over. Um, whenever we do the whipped stitch, I always do the whip it and whip it good. I always sing that over and over and over. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around because I like teaching it with the, the tip is at the top because you work from the tip to the end. So let's turn it around like this. Can you spell that? Spell what? Devo. What we spelling? There you go. It just looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Okay, so the fly stitch. Um, normally, th this would be called the open fly stitch. Open fly stitch. Because normally a fly stitch is like this. So you've got this kind of bird flying in the sky you know when you were like a small child and they were like oh draw a picture and there's a birds so fern f-e-r-n like a fern and fly like a bird's gonna fly away not no tricky spelling or anything like that 
Just easy peasy. So these look like the birds that fly away. And all we're doing with these is making this longer each time to attach them to each other. See how they all make the same shape, but no problem but they're just done in a different way. So the first thing we have to do is the very tip here. And I'm using six strands again, the same color, the same everything. We're gonna do the straight stitch. And then for this one, it's no more, for the fern stitch, it was one, two, three, one, two, three. For this one, we're gonna do up on the left or up on the right, it doesn't matter, because we're gonna go down on the other side, yeah? And then down on the other side, and you're gonna leave a loop. Okay? And then up here, right where you came down. So just like the fly stitch we used before, and then you're gonna make this one a little bit longer to reach the next V. Do you know what I mean? It's probably because I've got a stuffy nose because the weather's really cold like two, four days ago and then it shot back up like 20 degrees. I'm in Fahrenheit, that's why. That's why I say 20 degrees. But, oh man. Does the weather do that to anyone else? I always get a runny nose when the weather changes, always. Always like stuffy. No coughing or anything like that. Just like, ugh, you know, the lurgy. So that's how it is. So it's just like the fly stitch we learned before, but instead of doing those tiny little tacking stitches, you're going to make them longer. And remember, I'm going to take this one out. So this actually shouldn't have any kind of like impact on. I should probably keep my needle... threaded though, shouldn't I? Yeah, it happens every spring. I, I remember last, last spring, I think we were doing the isolate and create stitch along. And I had like the, the worst, like, like congestion and like, <laughs> like nose, whatever. And I was like, oh my God, I hope I don't have coronavirus. Like <laughs> this is, this is wild. Like why? And I was like, no, it's just the changing weather. I promise. But I never got any of the other symptoms. Like I never got fever. I never got like a cough or anything. It was literally just, and it got to the point where I was afraid that my nose was going to like drip onto the thing. Oh my gosh, the fear. The fear of being like, you know, so stuffy and being like <laughs> the entire time. I just remember being like, oh my gosh, this is going to totally drip. And then everyone's going to be like, we can't go back there. We can't watch her anymore. <laughs> so all I'm doing here is making these go more out. So as I'm going down here, instead of being really close, I'm just making them go out a little bit more each time. And that's giving that bigger shape. So some people really like the fern stitch and some people really like the fly stitch. It just depends on what you like. There's no other way to describe it. There's no other way to say it. But I love teaching these um, together because they're so similar um, in how they look, but um, they're just done in a different way. And you can totally tell that this here is just almost like a U. It's not as sharp. It's not as sharp as these ones. Yeah but they do go a little bit quicker because you don't have as many stitches, you know? Can I get one more small one in there or no? Maybe. The fear is real. <laughs> it is. Yeah, and I just feel like I could never show my face again if that happened. Like, <laughs> I'd have to be like, okay, I'm done. No more. That's it. That's the end. <laughs> I 
like delete my account, everything done. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens on Friday after I'm under sedation and I come home. David's going to have to take my phone away. I'm going to be like, hi guys, <laughs> I made it. <laughs> oh, I was going to have to take my phone away. Good morning. Trying to catch up while the pup is having a calm moment. Oh, puppies. I love them. Okay, so we've got these two today. So what you can do, if you want to, these ones here that we're going to do on Monday, because remember, tomorrow is a catch-up day. So there's just one video, um, and we're just going to catch up on the things that we haven't done already. So yeah, I've pretty much done everything on this one so far. So I'll probably work on the other hoop. Um, but what you can do if you want to, if you're a little bit like, I really want to add more of these, but I just don't know where, um, what you can do is around the outside, let me zoom out a little bit more. So maybe you can see what I mean. Okay. Around the outside here, you can kind of fill it. Oops. <laughs> Closer than I thought. I just poked my thing. Kind of fill it in a little bit because these ones right here, they're not going to be really big like these. They're going to be more like this size. And you have the chance to make them bigger. They're going to be like round. So bigger, or you can make them just a couple little ones. Okay. And they're going to have little leaves on them. So I can probably put, I can probably put another fern stitch here or fly stitch here. Yeah, and just like really fill it out if you if you want to. And they don't have to be like huge, huge, huge ones, okay? They can just be like little, a little bit here, a little bit there, you know? Um, let's take this off so I can actually see on this side. So what I'm trying to do is fill it in with these little wispy, like stick twiggy looking ones. Okay, but I'm trying to keep a nice like border of fabric around and we'll talk about the inside the day before we end, which is next Wednesday. So we'll talk about all of that then. So now we're just kind of trying to focus on filling this in. So that could be with more fern or fly stitches. Um, like I said, we're going to do these on Monday, the stem and leaves on Monday. Let's just fill in a couple more. And how full you make it is completely up to you. So if you don't want it to be so full, then that's okay. Or if you want it to make it more full, that's okay. That might be all right. One, two, let's put a round one over here somewhere. It's a little bit lopsided on this side, isn't it? But maybe with this one, it'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, so lots of people saying my problem is the space in the center and we will address that next Wednesday so I don't know if you made the comment before or after I said that but yeah we'll do all of that on Wednesday because then we'll we'll I'll show you some things that we can put um, specifically in the center um, and we'll talk more about like making your your bouquet like feel nice and full Let's get this in there. What's happening? What is happening? And not um, too spaced out. Now, of course, you could wait until 
we figure out the next ones to do any more of the fern or fly stitches. Like if you were like, I, I don't want to do any stitching, more stitching now, like I've done two, so that's okay. Um, yeah, or you can just go for it and fill in some, some spaces. That's entirely up to you. You can use more than one color. You can use multiple colors for these. Meaning like they don't all have to be the same like dark, dark green. If you want to do, do some with a lighter green or mix two colors together to make them look a little bit different, you can do that. But yeah, it's all going to come together. I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited for next week, like, to see everyone's, but I'm so sad for this all to finish, and then obviously on Friday, I have my thing, and I feel like I'm just, like, dwelling on Friday so much, like, ugh. Oh, I'm, like, really stressing out about it, but, like, at the same time, I'm so excited to see your guys' hoops, like, you have no idea. I'm so excited. Like, they're all coming together so well. Oh. I'm like so proud of everyone. So proud. I'm thinking about the next one. I love all of your suggestions. Oh, thanks. Let's do another fern on this one. Yeah, it's going to be so good. I can't wait for the next stitch along. I think it's going to be, I don't know. I have a small little event coming up. I can't I can't say too much, um, but that's going to be another little freebie. So watch out for that from me and Anchor Threads. There's a clue. Um, so that will be coming up right after Easter, I think. But again, you didn't hear it from me. And yeah, I'm going to see like if we should do one like in the middle of March. I'm just going to do one big long one here. Or if we should wait till after that, because like spring is coming. So, you know, I want to get all the spring vibes in there, you know? For the next stitch along. No. What do you mean, no? Uh, do you mean like, no, you don't want to wait? Oh, yes, please. What will I do for two weeks? <laughs> Guys, there's like 15 other stitch longs in, <laughs> in the shop <laughs> with all the videos on YouTube. So you could definitely do some of those <laughs> whilst you're waiting. And then... <laughs> Graybird Craft says, oh, yes, please. What? I need more. Okay, let's do a fly stitch over here. I'm really just filling it out now. So, again, like I said, you can, you can not do this if you don't want to. Or you can fill it in more, like at the very end, if you're like, mm, I just don't know. I just don't know. I want to see it all done first, and then I'll decide what to add. Huh. That's quite big. Can't wait. I can't wait either. I feel like there's so much good coming up, you know? Like... I don't know. I just feel it. I just feel it. Always excited for the next stitch along. Mel, I know you are. 
you always do the stitch alongs. Like, I can't even tell you how grateful I am for you guys. Like, you keep coming back. And I just don't know why. <laughs> I just don't know why. <laughs> Get it right up in there. Okay. I think Jeff is going to kill me if I keep waking up early. Yeah, he probably will. Because it's like, what, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. there? Okay, so I've got two strands here. I was hoping for three, but that's okay. I've got two. Okay, let's see um, how using less strands can. Oh, that's black. Wrong color. Can make it look different. 226. Oh. You're going to be too jazzed up from like the mention of more stitch alongs and like new projects and like all kinds of stuff that you're just not going to be able to go back to bed, are you? I hope this spring and summer life can start to go back to normal. Yeah. I really hope so. Okay, so this one is two strands. All the other ones were six. And we're going to do more of like this shape. This one. So I'm going to use the fly stitch because it's my favorite. And just two strands. And we're going to see if we can make it like nice and full looking. And how it looks different. I can't tell you how amazing you are and important too during these crazy times. Bless you, Tori. Oh. Stop it. Guys, I can't take it. I feel like because we've been in lockdown for so long, like we, there's like not an end here yet in England. We haven't, they keep saying that the kids might go back to school on March 8th, but if I'm being honest, I think that's not very smart. I think we're going to end up in another lockdown if that happens. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just tired, you know? And then I have the dentist on Friday, and I'm just freaking out about that. So there you go. Like, in a um, bad way, you know what I mean? Not like in a, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. And like, a, I'm like really, like it's affecting my day-to-day -day life. So... Like, I'm, I just want to get it over with. Your stitch longs really bring me joy, although I'm not listening. I love listening to you talk about random stuff. Oh, thank you. Guys, stop it. I think next Friday, I'm just going to think about all of you guys and like how lovely you are. And then I have to get back to work so that I can do another stitch long. <laughs> make more kits, make more projects. Scottish early years are back to school on Monday. I know I saw that. It just makes me nervous. I don't know why. It just makes me really nervous, you know? Got my first jab Friday. David had... Um, David has an appointment for his on next Thursday. So he's going to go see, I don't, I don't know why he got, cause he, he doesn't have like a chronic illness or anything like that. So he's going to go see if that's actually right. Um, or, you know, 
because like we don't want to get one before people who actually need one like more than we do need one if that makes any sense so I feel like your dentist should be working with you to help read yeah so I'm actually getting referred to a nervous patient dentist um so I think that should help a lot you know So I just need all the distractions for the week. And this is like perfect. Look how different that looks to these chunky ones. You know, how exciting. Natural drops called rescue remedy and totally helps anxiety to keep you calm. Oh, huh. I'm going to write that down. Teachers and meat processing workers are in the first round there in Australia. Oh, see, I don't think that it's time for teachers yet. But his doctor has actually got him confused with someone else before and said that they said that because he had a health condition or something. Um, you know how like the NHS was sending out, um, what's it called? Letters to people to like shield and, and everything. They were like, you should be shielding. He was like, I don't have any health conditions like that. <laughs> okay. I think that's it, right? Oh, no, I've got this one. I don't have any thread long enough. I'll do the very last one because I might as well. But yeah, I'm just trying to stay in there, you know? Like, how different does that look? It looks like a palm instead of this one, you know? So interesting. It's funny what just a couple stitches can do. I'm definitely going to try that rescue remedy if I can get it here. Like... I'm at the point now where I'll pay any money to, like, stop, you know? To just, like, relax. Calm down. But I think sometimes, like, people are afraid to talk about it, and then they, like, keep it all inside, and then it, like, comes out even worse. So I'm, like, trying to, like, talk it out and not... Um... You can get it in Boots and probably Sainsbow's, too. The rescue remedy thing. Oh... I don't have it. We're going up there. Yeah, so as much as I feel like I keep going on about it, I can't be. You can get it in the UK. It got me through my wedding day. Oh, Kim used to use it for flying. It, what is it, like a spray? Like a... What is it? It's so good. I recommend it. Wow, lots of people. Okay. I, I feel hopeful. Valerian root tea can help with anxiety also. Holland and Barrett for sure. Oh. Guys, I feel like I want to cry because that's giving me so much hope. You have no idea. Oh, like I'm actually sweaty because I'm like, oh my gosh. Hopeful. Okay. This is, this is fantastic. You can get it in drops. Oh. I'm so excited. Definitely have to try that. Or in lozen lozenges. Loz lozenges. I can't say that word. Just like worst worsters. Worcestershire. Worcestershire Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I'll leave you at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, do you remember last summer, for those of you who were there, where we all tried to say it, and I just couldn't say it? Well, there you go. Um, they taste like orange blossom. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm running there. It's like a liquid you drop on your tongue, and you can also get it in little... Oh, 
I could kiss you all right now. Like if we were allowed to hug, I would be hugging. Oh, thank you. Okay. So this is all filling up. This is all filling up so nicely. I've added fern and flies all around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and yeah, let me know which one is your favorite, the fern stitch or the fly stitch. I'm partial to the fly stitch, but that's just, that's just me. Um, and this little guy here. So you can experiment with more strands of thread or less strands of thread. Um, tomorrow is a catch-up day. Monday, Tuesday, we're going to be filling in the rest of these little guys here and also all of these middles. So you can choose what you want to do for the middles there. Um, Wednesday, we're doing the, the, all these awkward space on the inside here and what you can do to really fill that up. And then Thursday, we're done. We're just going to show you how to, we, <laughs> me, me and all my personalities. <laughs> we're going to show you how to close up the back of your hoop and what else you can do with your embroidery when you're done. So yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely Saturday and I'll talk with you in just a minute for the coffee stitch along or tomorrow for the catch up day. All right. Bye.